Okay, so what we have today is an Xbox One with a flaky, going bad power supply. So we're going to attempt to fix this, but I'll show you the problem right now. I've already opened this up, so you'll see the side of it. But you see, orange light is on, but I'm not plugged in yet to the Xbox. I'm plugged in the wall, but not plugged in the Xbox. Here's a cord. So when I plug the cord, into the back of the Xbox, you'll see light goes out. Xbox won't power on. See it, but I'm tapping the power button. Unplug it, plug it back in, light doesn't come on. Unplug it from the Xbox, plug it from the wall, wait a little bit plug it back in. Sometimes the light will come on, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it works fine, and you plug it in, you turn the Xbox on, it comes on fine. Sometimes it doesn't. So I went ahead and already opened it up, and I believe I already know what the problem is, but I'm going to show you here real quick. When we open this up, I'm plug the fan. You've got three caps right here. One, two, three. All three of them, I don't know if you can tell or not. It's kind of hard to see in this video. But all three of these, the tops of them are bulging. So this one and this one are the worst. This one isn't as bad, I don't think. But they're, all of them are, are bulging on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and desolder these, replace them. I got new caps, but they're not the exact, they're the, the right specs on it, but they're a little wider. So I think they'll fit, all three of them will fit, but it'll probably be a little tight. So we'll have to uh, see if we can get them all to fit in there. So what we need to do is get this out. There's a heat shield on the other side that we're going to have to desolder. And then we'll have to desolder the, the caps and then replace them with new ones. And these are 16 volt, 2200 microfarads. And the ones that are bad here, the same thing, 16 volt, 2200 microfarad. So let's get the, uh, let's get the soldering iron and the desoldering iron fired up and we'll get to work. So to desolder the heat shield, there's solder points here and here. Uh, we just have to hit them with the desoldering iron. Basically this. And then uh, remove it. And then once that comes off, we'll see where our solder points are for the, uh, for the caps. So let's... I already started this a little bit off camera, so this should be pretty easy. There's just a little bit holding it on. Okay. And that, that, that'll be fine. So, we've got our three caps here. This is one. What are the other two? This is two and this is three, okay. So there's one here, focus. Wow, this thing does not want to focus. Anyway, there's one here, one here, and one down here. So we're gonna desolder all three of those and uh, replace them.
the first cap. I'm going to go ahead and actually put a replacement one in there. Just to see, I'm going to test it for fitment. I think it'll be okay. Okay, hopefully you can hear this with the background noise. Um, we'll go ahead and undo the next two. seem to want to go. Regular right, iron here. Sometimes these solder pads can be a little temperamental. business now okay so let's get our three caps and put them in here so hopefully all three of them will fit only a tight squeeze I think I don't know, that's looking kind of dicey. Uh, let's see, number three. good. I'll just flex these a little bit so they don't 
All right, now we just have to solder them back in. Hit up with a little extra light here. see what I'm doing but so this is not the best soldering job I know All right, let's see what we did here Close enough for the blues, baby. All right. And we'll do a little snip snip. Making sure to get the legs off. Check our work, make sure everything negative goes to negative. Don't see any thing crossed over that. That didn't feel good. just reflow this because when I move the when I move this one right here felt a little loose and it kind of popped so I want to make sure that's all right so now get our heat shield right here put it back on solder it back into place Good. Pop back in. Check a negative, negative, negative. Everything looks good. So let's give her a shot and see what happens. I'm gonna set the cover on top here just in case anything pops. All right, and it looks like we have, oh, let me turn the flash off. We have our orange light. We have our Xbox. And let's plug it in and see if it turns off.
Light stays on. And we have power. So, yep, looks like bad capacitors are what caused our problem. Let's see if I can get this focused here. I mean, they don't look terrible. But they are definitely bulged. Now, for comparison's sake, here's a good cap. versus a bad one. So, yep. Well, that's it. So hopefully this helps somebody if they have a problem with their uh, Xbox One power supply. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or want to ask me anything or that. Um, otherwise, uh, if you feel so inclined, like this video. If you don't dislike it, you know, we don't care. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.